In this video, I am going to show you how I build my React apps with AI. So here is my workflow. So over to ChatGPT, I have a simple prompt here. Just watch. I paste in my prompt. So here's a prompt. I said I need a comprehensive, lovable prompt for a modern for a modern e-commerce store with React. So with ChatGPT, I get ChatGPT helps to helps me create a comprehensive prompt i am going to use on a different ai platform you understand so right now i need a comp i need a modern e-commerce store with react so i'm asking ChatGPT to give me a comprehensive prompt a prompt that is that has more information you get so right now pass i'm going to simply just send this and then i'll get my right now i need a prompt for lovable right so let's just watch i'll show you how to get the codes from lovable how to run the code locally and then how to make the code your own you understand so we are going to work on that so right now ChatGPT now is trying to help me create a comprehensive prompt from lovable you can see what it's talking you can see what is adding up there i can't i can't so with myself i can't i can't type all this i can't remember all these things that's why i had to ask ChatGPT to help me create a comprehensive prompt i can use on the lovable AI platform, you understand? So right now, because now our prompt, you understand? So I could just copy this. Copy. You can read through it if you want to. Right. So here is the prompt now. Copy. So right now, I've gotten my lovable. I've gotten the prompt now. It is much more comprehensive. I'll copy it. So what was the next phase now? So the next thing now is go over to lovable.dev, right? And then I'll paste in this prompt, and then we're going to have lovable build up this e-commerce site with React to get. So let's paste the prompt now. We are not done. I'm also going to show you how to make the the React app your own. You understand? I'm going to show you how to run it locally, how to customize it to look like your own, right? Just follow me. So paste the prompt here. So we've got our prompt. So it's com yes, complete. So I want to build. So I've, I've built up a lot of React apps using Lovable. What I do is go go over. I go over to Lovable. It helps me. It helps me with the React app, and then I connect my Django backend to this to this to this app to this React apps to form a full stack application. You get so that's what I do. So we charge it. Charge it. Helps me to helps to make the prompt comprehensive. Then I paste the prompt on Lovable. Lovable generates the app for me, and then I connect my Django backend to it. So that's how I work now. In the standards, thanks to AI. So let's click on the send icon. Then we're gonna have our app generated. So it's gonna take a few seconds. It just depends on how big or how large the, the site you want to build is. So we are gonna wait for this to finish. We are gonna wait for this to finish narrating. And be careful it might ask you some questions you, you just have to watch what's going on just read what is going on here it might ask you some questions but if it does not ask you any question then it's fine so just wait for it to generate the app and then we'll continue so right now we have our react app generated for us it has been generated with lovable i passed in my prompts from charge gpt and over here we have the we have our sites live we have a react e-commerce app live on the screen you get so you understand and right now you can see the app the site is called looks that's perfect so let's see what it looks like yeah you can see what it looks like now what did i do click on this icon click on this open preview in, in new tab you're going to see what your site looks like you can see it's looking sleek not bad right so we have a simple e-commerce site you can add to cart so this is just the front end part with react so you can plug in your back end and then continue right so you can always go back to lovable and ask it to add more features let's see you know let's say you're not satisfied let's say that like, some things are missed for example now we don't have a footer come back to lovable and say add a footer to the website it's going to add a footer you can always come back here and then keep making changes till you are satisfied you understand so now we have our site live what's, what's the next thing how do i get this code how do i get it that's very very important right because i need to make changes i need to connect to a back end how do i get the code so it's simple what you have to do now you can see we have our github icon here 
can see that the GitHub icon up here. You can if you if you over around it, if you over on it, it says sync your sync sync your project to GitHub, right? So I have to right now. The aim is to get this code down to my PC. So click on it now. Let's connect GitHub, right? So you can see it says connect projects now. So click on connect projects. So here's my GitHub account code with Clinton. So let's pick that. And then if you read through it now, it's trying to say that you're trying to transfer the code from Novable to your GitHub. And then I'll say transfer anyway. So now the code is going to be living in your GitHub account. You understand? So it's having right now, the code has been transferred to my GitHub account. So I can click on this view button. View. Yep. So here's the source code now live on my GitHub account. The same thing you can. You can do the same thing for your own self. I can now clone this website. I can then clone this. I can now clone this repository on my local computer. You get, and then whenever I make changes and push, it's going to reflect here. And it's also going to reflect on Lovable. It's also going to reflect on Lovable's website on this place. Your change, your change, whatever you make is going to also reflect on Lovable on this. You understand? So that's how it says. It's a two-way stuff. We're not done. So now let's clone this and then let's run this application locally you understand so i could just copy this and then go down to my command prompt let's go down let's look up cmd okay, my command prompt is up here's the command prompt yeah so right now i'm going to my document directory so i'm trying to clone the i'm trying to i am trying to clone the repository i'm going to say cd documents right and then say cd reacts projects that's where i have that's where i store my react projects right cd documents and then cd i think cd underscore react projects so and over here i can create a folder called let me just say locks no the name of the name of, name of the site is called locks right it's a nice name so let's call it locks i call the project the folder name l-u-x-e then go, right now i have to go into the folder yep yeah, so right now i can then clone this repository i'm going to say git clone then copy the link there it is copy this and then let's paste it it's enter so let's give it some minutes to clone this project locally and then we can run it and make our own changes and then make the code our own that's the aim right so right now i've gotten this now so what's the next step i have to go into this directory i think it's called cd aura then storefront storefront then kits then let's open this with vs code I'm gonna say code then dots hope oh, my terminal is not too so small let's say code dot so we are going to, we are trying to open this this repo this this directory with vs code so i'm going to say code dots and we're going to have our projects opened with vs code so it's coming up so now yeah you're live on vs code now right here's our react project so first thing first what are you going to do we have to install all the dependencies this application needs and it's simple open your terminal click terminal new terminal and then let's run the let's run our let's run the let's run, let's run our project dependencies so click on command prompt and then run npm install it's enter run this command just that command and then i think we'll be good to go so right now we are done with the command npm has done is we are done installing the we are done with the npm install we can then proceed right so what's the next step so let's run npm run dev so right now i'm trying to run the react local server so let's see if it works hopefully it works now so hold down control and click on this local host local host url and let's see if our project is going to open without any error so yep so we have our project now live on our local environment it's live you get so we right now these are code this is the code now so it's running here we have the code you can check it out it's all here check it out right so 
everything seems for everything is working it seems fine so i have the code now live on my pc i can make changes and i can push to github and it's also going to reflect on lovable that's how it is it gets now but if you check closely we still have some lovable signs around for example if you check this this title tab if you check up here we have the lovable logo there we don't want the lovable logo there we want to make this our own it should look like ours not lovables right so what do we do come over here to the webs come over here now we're going to go over to the public folder we have to delete this file called favicon.ico favicon.ico this is a lovable that's what shows the lovable logo up there you can delete it and then replace it with something else so right now to replace it right so how do i so right now let me show you how to replace this logo you understand so right now what we are what we have here is an e-commerce store right so there is a site called let me just say um let me just search for um convert emoji to favicon convert emoji to favicon so instead of having this lovable icon i want to use a shopping cart icon there and there is a website that can do that for us and that's css tricks click on the second link how to use an emoji as a favicon easily so we just, we just this now just copy this just simply copy this link copy this copy so once it's copied now oh, I didn't, let's copy it connect back to our site now so i'm going to look look for the file called index.html so we've gotten the file now so in this file you can remove all traces of lovable you can always edit all traces of lovable because we don't want to make it look like our site is ai generated right so you have to remove every every lovable trace on this page so whenever you see lovable for example now this method for example this property we have here you can comment it out and then you can add yours right so where else for example this twitter image you can add your own twitter image or you can comment what it was there out comment it out so the aim is to remove any sign of lovable right so it looks like ours that was the aim so remember we copy the link for the favicon paste this link now yep it has been pasted and let's see if the let's see if the logo is still there this lovable logo okay so it has been replaced right because if you check now the link i pasted as an emoji this arrow emoji it has this arrow emoji you see here right so if you check if you check up the title tab over here you can see the arrow, the arrow emoji is now reflecting so right now we have an e-commerce store so the best thing to do is to just add a shopping cart there because that's more descriptive right let me just add a shopping cart for the for the tights for the favicon let's add a shopping cart uh, yeah we've got this now let's click on it um i didn't reflect or you could just add any any emoji of your choice i could just add this burger sign okay you could add any one of your choice you could add the shopping carts whichever one back to the browser you can see now we have the burger up there and now it's looking like our site right so it's not looking easy so right so someone cannot just come and say this is AI, AI generated how will you tell do you have any proof no so we have this react application this is how i build my react apps is that i don't i don't use any figma even with figma what i do is i screenshot the figma and then paste it on lovable and it generates it for me but it's not going to look exactly like the figma but it gives me something similar if I have a Figma design right away, I just screenshot the Figma design and then I send to Lovable and it generates the design, but it doesn't look exactly, but it gets the idea. You understand? So this is how I build my React apps these days. Go over to ChatGPT to help me with the comprehensive prompts. And then I copy that prompt from ChatGPT down to Lovable. And then Lovable helps me with the React application. And once that's done, I can then connect to, connect the app to my GitHub, connect the React app to my GitHub profile, and then clone it to my local machine. And then I can start working on it locally. Connect my and then I can then connect my backend and then build a full stack application easily. It's been made very it's been made very very simple for us now. So this is how I build my 
and i really hope you, and i hope you can flow my own my own workflow and start building yours like this and if you have a figma design you can always screenshot the figma design and then send to lovable and it's going to generate it for you but it won't look exactly the same that's what you need to take note of so this is my workflow this is how i this is how i do my i really hope you've gained some value if you gain some value please subscribe to my channel like the video and we'll see you again in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye